I think the metrics, like as a whole, when we talk about SEO performance measurement, would stay the same, really. Uh, like the core metrics, right? For example, we talk about measuring traffic. We talk about engagement metrics, right? Like for example, time spent on page, um, and and of course conversions that that you're driving from the content. Um, and if you if you want to, for example, also count rankings, then you know what are the keywords that you're ranking on, etc. However, perhaps one or two things you need to pay special attention to specifically because you're dealing with international SEO in this case. So one thing would be, um, and this is more like, you know, not, not new metrics, but rather using the same metrics uh, and then comparing them across the markets. So for example, um, if you have, if you're looking at conversion rate, let's say, um, you get, let's say, you know, 0.5% conversion rate on your uh, English content um, with a last touch attribution model. So last touch simply meaning someone read a piece of content and then they convert it um, right away, right? Uh, because there are other forms of conversion as well. Someone, you know, read your post and then they went away and then they came back and, you know, so it's, they visited a lot of pages, which page converted, you know, you don't know. So, but anyway, if you're talking about last touch, in which case someone read a piece and then they convert it, right? So the last piece that they read gets the credit. Um, at least in that case, or in fact, in any other attribution case, you can just say, uh, what is the conversion rate that I'm getting in English versus all of these other markets? So is French content converting better than Spanish content? Um, and if yes, what are we doing in French that we are not doing in Spanish content? Do we have, for example, more transactional bottom of the funnel content in French and we've only created you know, top of the funnel, what is kind of pages in Spanish? Or is it a deeper thing than that, right? Um, have we, for example, uh, you know, not chosen the right folks to create the content for us. Um, it, it, like maybe the, the person that, that was creating content did not have a lot of cultural background or something like that, right? Treat your new website, which is like a, you know, a directory that operates in different regions uh, as, a, as a tool to figure out how can you optimize performance across all regions. That That's like one thing that I would say, right? So use metrics and then compare them across mm -hmm. like for example if we see this as an agency right um and i this is something that i really love which is that if any company is down at any point in traffic i can instantly spot whether that is a seasonality effect or something is wrong with that particular company by just looking at other companies that we have the data for right so like for example in december we can easily like with evidence say hey, your traffic is actually down, not because we did something wrong, but simply because people are not searching enough. Uh, and we, we, we're saying this because we have 20 other companies, B2B SaaS, and all of their traffic is down within this particular week. So in the same way, I think for international SEO, if someone is operating in multiple regions, uh, they have a lot of data that they, they can use to get all of the regions performance overall more optimized. When you're dealing with reporting on different regions, you need to understand, you know, what are the regions when French people wouldn't be searching enough, or, uh, you know, what, what are the spots in like maybe a particular week in March or a particular week in, you know, uh, in September or, or somewhere where Spanish people typically are spending more time with their family and not on the are, are not on the, you know, on on the lookout for new products or new information, etc. So. The traffic would be down. The search patterns would be would be down. Um, you know, the the search demand will change. So all of that stuff will happen. So if you have that context uh, and if you know that market really well, you can connect the dots. Otherwise, you know, it's just gonna get very confusing in terms of reporting. So uh, so yeah, I think you know that as a whole. And of course, you know, there are other kind of things as well in terms of seasonality. In one particular month, for example, maybe the Spanish market gets triggered. Uh, and they convert more than the search, right? So, which means uh, this is something that we also see in Q4 typically with companies, which is, you know, normally speaking, there would be a good ratio of people searching for brands and then people converting, right? But then typically at the end of Q4, since people are looking to close the deals that they were already thinking about, they would search less for brands and convert more, right? So this is exactly mm -hmm. something you know, other markets might also be experiencing. And if you have that context about that region, and the audience that you're dealing with within international SEO that would help you connect the dots in terms of reporting.